Hello friends and thanks so much for clicking on this video, bienvenidos. Today we're going to do a visual review of the Temerian Deep Space Cruiser. This is the cruiser that you can earn for free um, by playing the winter event. This is the ship that is being given to all players. Um, hopefully you're already well underway to grabbing this ship. Um, some people already have it, some people are very close to getting it. So if you have it, I want to show you some of the options that you have for changing the look of this ship. Now, right out of the box, it's pretty plain. As you can see, just kind of a light um, gray material type on it with some red looking uh, nacelles, looks like on both sides here. Uh, visually speaking, not my favorite looking ship <laughs> by any means. However, it's nice that it is a ship that was actually in an episode of Star Trek, specifically Star Trek The Next Generation, and I believe the episode was called Darmok. Um, yeah, so kind of an interesting design, and again, for me personally, not that visually appealing, but I've been playing with this ship for the past couple of days, and it performs pretty well, especially, you know, my free-to-play account, I don't have access to a lot of the high-end ships on that or anything, and this ship has been a lifesaver. It's been really good, it's performed a lot better than some of the other ships that I have, so definitely worth it picking up. Hopefully, again, you've already uh, started doing your dailies during the winter event and you're well underway to getting this ship. Um, if you go into the ship's tailor, whether it's an Earth Space Dock or the Klingon Shipyard or New Romulus, wherever that may be, um, wherever your character's faction is, right, you'll be able to see that there aren't a lot of options to take this ship and change the look of it. Unfortunately, it's very plain. Uh, <laughs> you don't have any whole material types that can be assigned to the ship. You can't even change the bridge of it. It's got kind of a standard freighter bridge, which is horrible. It's the worst um, bridge in the game. It's very plain. And um, so, yeah, not a lot of options for you there. You can change um, some of the patterns on the hull a little bit and change the colors of the patterns themselves. Some people have done kind of interesting looking things with that, but other than that, you really, again, don't have a lot of customization. However, as some of you know, in the game, you have all kinds of shields that can change the look of your ship. And that's what we're going to take a look at today. And let's get right into it. So I'm going to pull up the UI here. And as you can see, I've already... Um, grabbed all of the shields that will give this ship a different um, look and visual to it. So we're going to start putting these on here and seeing what they look like. I am in the Janolan Dyson Sphere. I just feel it's one of the better places to uh, to really highlight some of these, these shields. So we're going to start off with the um, assimilation set from the Omega Reputation. We're going to start off with the Assimilated Regenerative Shield, and we're going to do, I'm going to actually put the engines on here too, and the Deflector Ray because it really borgifies the ship quite a bit, and we'll take a look at that right now. Alright, so as you can see that did make a change, the nacelles aren't no longer red, they are that greenish color, the hull itself has these Borg patterns over it. We have the little nacelle portion right here that kind of wraps around the, what is that? The, is that the right nacelle or the left? I guess depends on which way you're looking at it. <laughs> it's really the right nacelle because this is the front of the ship. So, so yeah, kind of interesting looking. Uh, the deflector area definitely gives it this uh, definitely menacing vibe to it. Overall, an interesting change to this ship. It still looks pretty plain to me because it holds still that kind of that light gray look to it, but it definitely changes it. If you want this ship to look like the Borg to get over, this is the way to go. All right, let's move on to uh, to another set of shields these pieces out. Next we're going to take a look at the uh, Adapted Mako Covariant Shield Array. 
Now this shield, uh, there is the regular Mako and this is the adapted one, but they're basically identical um, when it comes to the look of them. Um, when it comes to the st st stats of it, it's a little bit different, but when it comes to the look of it, pretty much the same. So let's see what that looks like. Let's put that on there. Okay, again, this shield makes it look like you have these this kind of car carbon fiber look to the hull. You can see that it did that on the tips here of the ship itself, around the neck, even the kind of the forward hull area. It did not change the color of the nacelles. It looks like the nacelles are about the same color. I think it changed here, this little area where the impulse engines are at. Give it, I think, maybe more of a honeycomb pattern. If I'm not mistaken, it might have changed the color just a tad bit as well. So yeah definitely changed it a little bit not a ton but you know it's an older shield also but if you want want it to have kind of this kind of uh carbon fiber look to it then definitely the adapted mako shield is for you let's move on to the omega force shield let's see what that looks like okay i'm not liking this at all um Hmm. So it added these kind of brown parts to it. It's not quite honeycomb. It added these little dots all around or lines. Uh, it just doesn't look good. It looks really bad on this ship. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> but hey, if you like it, more power to you. That is the Omega force shield array next we're gonna look at the Omega force vanity shield this is after you've reached tier 6 in that reputation same kind of look basically instead of the brown parts though we got these uh, kind of bluish purple um, sections over the ship it does change the color of the nacelles a little bit back here or not the nacelles I'm sorry the impulse engines kind of a purplish glow to them but yeah I don't like that either and so far the only things that I would put on there from the Omega rep is the is really the assimilated set it looks kind of neat if you're trying to go for a Borg Borgify look and maybe the the adapted covariant Mako covariant shield array looked okay but the Omega force shield and the Omega force vanity shield I wouldn't go for that yeah, looks pretty bad. <laughs> All right, next we're going to take a look at the Romulan um, set. So we're going to start off with the Romulan Advanced Prototype Covariant Shield Array. This is from the Romulan New Romulus Reputation. All right. All right, so what it did here was um, basically made part of the whole green uh, because Romulans love the color green. Don't know why necessarily, but... I'm sure there is some kind of a lore explanation out there somewhere. It did not change the nacelle color. The nacelle color remained the same, kind of this red um, color to them. But parts of the hull are green. It did change the color of the, uh, uh, the impulse engines a little bit. So now we don't have any honeycomb pattern. Now we have this kind of burnt orange red look to them. So yeah, it's um a little bit green. Nothing nothing to write home around about uh but not horrible either. So So that is the Romulan Advanced Prototype Shield. Now we're going to go with the Riemann. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> so this does change the look it makes the whole look kind of more chrome um, like a grayish green chrome look to it more of a change here we have this kind of glowing bits right here with the honeycomb pattern in this area of the hole it did change the color of the nacelles finally so we got this bluish with some kind of white going through them it changed the color of the impulse engines in the back as well. So yeah, that's a bigger change. I, I think that's probably the biggest change we've seen so far to this ship as far as the looks go. I like it. I dig this shield on this ship. 
I think if you want a shiny looking ship, that's the way to go. Very cool. That's the Riemann. Advanced prototype covariant shield array from the new Romulus reputation. Let's go with the new Romulus Riemann vanity shield. Alright, this is very similar to, to the one we just saw. However, the hull is a little bit darker. Still kind of chrome looking effect, just darker. A little bit more green here and there, looks like. The impulse engines, or I'm sorry, the, the nacelles have a different glow to them. It's not quite the same. Oh yeah, I like this. I like this one better, actually. I mean, I like them both, but this one... I like the darker hull material type on this. Still the chrome going through it, but... Really neat. Yeah, I dig that on this ship. Very cool looking. It's interesting how some of these... You know, just changing kind of the visuals of the ships could make you like them just a little bit more than standard. I mean, when you look at that and then you look at it without it, it definitely does add something to it, right? <laughs> Next, we're going to take a look at the Nukara Crystalline Resilient Shield. Put that on there. This is from the uh, Nukara Reputation. I believe that's what it's called. Let's just double check and make sure. Yeah, the Nukara Strike Force Reputation. All right, so this is the, again, the Nukara Crystalline Resilient Shield Array. It does change the look of the ship a bit. Um, it kind of changes the pattern of the hull a little bit here. You see these deep grooves kind of around it. Um, change, definitely change the, the look of the nacelles. You got this kind of this bluish white look to them with this interesting pattern it did change the look of the impulse engines with the same kind of pattern it's not quite honeycomb it's kind of a lattice I guess would be the the best way to describe that pattern All right definitely not my favorite but it is not not too bad not too bad. It's all right. All right. Let's move on to the the one you get after you reach tier six in that reputation, the Nukara Strike Force Vanity Shield. Very similar, except that the hull is a little bit darker now. Let me see. Yep, same kind of pattern on the cells back here and the impulse engines. Yeah. You know, if it wasn't for the... I guess if the hole didn't look... I don't know. Like, patched together. Because you have these deep grooves kind of throughout. So it makes it look... Like they just put together a bunch of pieces. Like, look at this. There's like this big deep groove right here. Just kind of going right through this... Little side wing, whatever that is. It's just an older shield, too, in the game. So it's one of the oldest shields... So, the looks are going to be not up to modern standards, basically. But, it does change the look of it, so if you like that, there you go. <laughs> Next, we're going to go to the Dyson Reputation Shields. Um, we have the Dyson Regenerative Shield Array. We so happen to be in one of the Dyson Spheres, so that's kind of appropriate to put this shield on. Okay, so it changed something. It it, it kind of looks very similar to its original look. The nacelles have not changed the color of them. But in the hole, you can see these kind of purple lines going through. So that's different. Now they're all over the hull itself. Let's see if the impulse engine's changed. Nope. They didn't change. I actually think this is the original look of them. Um, actually, let me double check that real quick. Yeah, that's the original look of the of the impulse engines. So it really didn't do anything for them. All right. 
So not a huge change, just these kind of purple lines going throughout. Let's go to the tier 6 version of it. Let's go to the Dyson Joint Command Vanity Shield. Let's put that on there. Bigger change. The hole's um, darker. The hole itself is a little bit more purple. It's got this kind of interesting pattern throughout besides the, the purple lines. So it, it was definitely a bigger change than the other shield. The nacelles haven't changed color and the impulse engines look pretty much the same. So yeah, so far not a lot of shields have looked super great on here, which I'm surprised because we have a lot of really cool looking... We have some ships actually that basically when you put a shield on them they look super amazing. Um, this ship itself is not taking some of these shields very well. <laughs> not taking to some of them very well, but um, still, I think, again, the best we've seen so far are probably these Riemann, the Riemann shields over from the Romulan reputation. Let's take a look at the counter command. This is the, the one with species 8472. Um, so it's their kind of aesthetic. Let's look at the counter command covariant shield. That does change the look of the ship for sure. So we can see that even the the grayish parts of the hull are a little bit more smooth than original, I believe. And then you have these really dark hull areas throughout. You also have these green circles. Look like eyes to me. <laughs> it changed the look of the nacelles on both sides to this green. And let's take a look at the engines. Yeah, the impulse engines back here did change in color also. Interesting um, look to this ship. Can't decide if I like it or not, but it's definitely better than some of the ones we've seen so far. Interesting look. I, I I think I think I'm okay with it. I don't know that I love it, but certainly better than some of the ones we've seen so far, so I dig it. Alright, let's move on to the tier six version of this. This is the 8472 counter command vanity shield. Alright, so this one actually went the opposite way. This one went lighter on the hull and a lighter green on the nacelles here. You still have these little circles, look like little eyeballs throughout. But it's just basically a lighter hole pattern. Does change the look of the impulse engines in the back. Yeah. It's actually okay. The counter command reputation shields look okay on this ship. Not great, but okay. All right, we're going to the Delta Alliance Reputation, and we're gonna start off the Delta Alliance and the Matrix Shield. All right, that did change the look of it. Darker hull, um, different pattern. You got some of this Aztecing throughout the hull. You have these, um, these kind of green triangle parts here and there. <laughs> the look of the, nac the nacelles did change. You have this, you know, the Delta Unimatrix shield has one of the most, to me, annoying patterns on the nacelles and it's this weird kind of circles that look stretched out, green but a little bit of black kind of on the edges. It just I don't know. I, I don't dig it. Um, if it Maybe if it didn't have the circular patterns within the nacelles themselves, and it was just, just the green with a little bit of the black on the edges, I could kind of like it a little bit more, because it looks like some kind of a mixed uh, matter-antimatter, you know, gas or whatever it is that's in there. But, um... <laughs> But yeah, I just don't like that circular pattern that looks stretched out between 
between the green and the black there. So the rest of the hole looks pretty good though. I, I do like the Aztec patterns. I do like just these little bit bits of green throughout because again it's the Delta Unimatrix. I believe it's something like in cooperation with the Bohr Cooperative. So it's it's kind of Borg technology and I guess Federation or Alliance technology mixed together to give you a certain look to them. Looks a little camo too from the bottom especially. Um, making the ship look a little bit more military I guess. But I like it. Overall I like it. I just it bugs me the, the, the pattern here on the nacelles but that's just a personal preference thing. All right, let's move on to the tier six version of this. This is the Delta Alliance Vanity Shield. Take a look at that. All right, so it's a lighter greenish color on it. Same kind of uh, patterns on the hull though. Same green line areas throughout. Even the nacelle, the nacelle look is similar. It's just a lighter green, but the same circular pattern that I don't enjoy on there does change the look of the impulse engines from the back so if you just want like a lighter green and a greenish gray hole then hey this is the shield for you to me it doesn't look that bad actually I you know Delta Alliance the Delta reputation shields these are the ones some of the ones that look better on this ship so I like it Next, we're going to go to what's probably my least favorite of all the reputation shields, and that's the Iconian Resistance Shields. We're going to start with the Iconian Resistance Resilient Shield. Yeah, I just, I really just don't like this pattern on here. The, kind of the circles and the red and the... It's not even throughout the whole ship, it's just in certain sections, right? And some of the patterns don't even match up. See right here? It's like broken. On this tip of the nacelle. It does change the color of the nacelles, gives it this, this look to them. Um, kind of a light red or light reddish orange, I don't know. I don't know how to describe that color. It doesn't look great though. The patterns don't line up very good. And that's the case with most ships that this shield goes on, to be honest. I, I feel like it just it's one of those visuals that really needs to be reworked. I think if it was reworked, I might like it more, but it just looks broken. It looks broken throughout. The patterns don't match. They don't connect with each other. And I don't know. It just looks sloppy. It is an old shield though. Let's try the... <laughs> you know, I don't think it'll be any better, but let's try the T6 version of the Iconian Resistance Shield. Or Iconian Resistance Vanity Shield. So lighter, lighter pattern on the hull. It gives it more of a purplish gray color with these purple lines. does change the look of the nacelles also with this kind of purple color on them. Yeah, I'm just, I just don't like, don't like the shields of this reputation. All right, <laughs> moving on, let's go with the Terran Task Force Covariant Shield from the Terran Task Force Reputation. Now that's a little bit more like it, I, I dig that. So it is a darker hole. But it's got these kind of yellow lines throughout the ship with some blue. It changes the look of the nacelles. I like the the orange glow to them. Very nice looking. This is this looks a little broken right here. The, just these random um, yellow lines right here on the tip of the nacelle that goes right through. If you zoom in close, you can start to see some of the. Kind of the imperfections right of the of the pattern but if you zoom out just a little bit more it looks a lot better see what it does to the nacelles yeah changes the color a little bit or to the impulse engines 
rather. You got some red going through, some red lines. I dig that. Overall, I do like this pattern. Very neat. So this is the Terran Task Force Reputation Shield. Let's go the tier six version. All right, so it is a lighter color. Same kind of pattern going throughout it though, just different colors. We got this light blue on there now, some yellow, and then this really light blue. Um, light blue and whitish, I guess, on the nacelles themselves. Let's change the look of the impulse engines. You get these little sections, kind of these grooves in the hole, but I, I like the pattern of this more than some of the other ones that have tried to do it. It just looks cleaner. Um, even though it has those kind of dark grooves on them, the grooves themselves look a little bit cleaner and a little bit tighter formation than, than some of the other patterns. I like it. I really like it. So I like both of the shields from the Terran Task Force on this ship. To me personally, it looks really neat. Let's take a look at... Wait, do I have that twice? Oh, for some reason, I have the Terran Task Force shields on here twice. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> That's okay. Not a problem. All right, we're moving on to the Temporal Defense Initiative. Regenerative shield array. The shields from the temporal defense reputation. That's a pretty big change. I mean, you still got the light kind of uh, light gray hull, but it's it's slightly different on this. You have these. Um, I don't even want to call them little patches here and there where it, it's just kind of as you move it, the color it gives it like the colors change basically right it looks a little bit um, just like a rainbow pattern throughout in certain sections of the ship here on the nacelles you have this bluish slash white color to them there's these sections right here that you see it's got a certain pattern I always call this the dinosaur skin pattern because that's what they look like to me I always find that interesting about this this shield uh, visual it does change the look of the impulse engines a little bit lighter blue on there I mean overall it's not bad I don't know if I'd, I'd use this particular one on, on this ship, but it's not a bad look to the ship, actually. Let's take a look at the tier 6 version of this. Okay, so it gives it a more purple um, look throughout the hull. I think I like the previous version better than this, especially because of how the nacelles look on here. It, it kind of looks like somebody just... Uh, went to the nacelles and used a paintbrush and started just painting the outside with a paintbrush. Uh, <laughs> it has that kind of paintbrush stroke look to it. Some people might like that. I, I think it looks a little bit silly, to be honest. Let's take a look at the impulse engines. I think these are the originals, aren't they? Might have not changed the impulse engine look to them. I mean, it's it's an interesting look. This definitely looks like somebody went to town with with some paint and just hand hand painted the ship. So, if you're more artistic and you like that kind of a thing, then this might be the shield that you want to use on the ship. This is a tier six version from the um, Temporal Defense Initiative um, reputation. All right, let's look at the Lucari ones otherwise known as the Tron look. Let's see if it does give us that Tron looking pattern. Oh yeah, it does not disappoint. 
it's very defined on this ship. Sometimes it's not as defined on some of these ships, but on this one, you could definitely see the glowing kind of bluish white um, lines throughout the entire ship, kind of highlighting the corners and the edges. Um, then the cells have this this bluish look to them as well. I really, really like this. Sh wow, look at that, even from the side. I really like this shield on this ship. I like how it changes the look of it to this. It changes the look of the impulse engines as well. The lines are just really defined. Like, it doesn't happen like that with all the ships, but I think because this ship is so squared, I mean, if you look at it, it doesn't have a lot of curves to it, right? Like, all the corners are just kind of squared off right here in the tips of the nacelles. I mean, this wing over here, it's not rounded at all. It's just kind of just lines, right? Straight line patterns throughout. So I think that it helps this shield to kind of highlight um, or just, I don't know if highlight's the right word, but it, but it helps, the shape of the ship helps you highlight the look of the shield, I guess is the, what I'm trying to say. So, I like it a lot actually. So this is the Lucari shield on the Tamarian Deep Space Cruiser. Really, really cool. Um, this is definitely one that I would I would use full time on this ship. Let's take a look at the tier six version of the shield and let's see what, what that looks like. All right, the um, so the lines are a little bit more subdued. They're not as bright. Um, they're more purple in color, obviously. The nacelles are also purple in color. It looks okay, though. I think it looks fine. The impulse engines, though, are kind of a blue color. That's interesting. You'd think it'd be purple like the rest of it, but not so much. I mean, you still see the the kind of the edges are highlighted a bit and all that, but not quite as much as the previous shield. But not bad. If purple's your color, then definitely something to consider. The Lucari Tier 6 version of the Vanity Shield, the Lucari Restorative Initiative Vanity Shield. All right, let's take a look at the um, Prevailing Innervated Resilient Shield Array. This is from that really hard reputation to level up the competitive war games um, not a lot of people do the uh, <laughs> the TFOs for for this particular reputation so that's that's always been kind of an issue to level this particular reputation up it takes more time than most other ones but let's go ahead nonetheless and take a look at some of these other shields from from that reputation so the prevailing innervated resilient shield array that's the one I have Let's put that on there and let's see what it looks like. Okay, it changes the pattern of the hole. So you have these deep grooves throughout. Um, I don't like the way it looks with that pattern. It's not very cohesive in some areas. Things don't connect. See right here you have broken lines. Um, it does not change the look of the nacelle really or the impulse engines. Yeah, I'm not liking it. <laughs> I'm not liking what it does to this ship. I don't think it, it makes it look all that great, to be honest. All right, let's move on to the tier six version of it. This is the competitive board games vanity shield. Okay, same kind of thing really, just more yellow, like this goldish, like light gold color, light yellow, whatever that is. Usually on these, you have um, sections of the hull that make it look either silver or gold color. I don't see that on this particular ship, on the Temerian Deep Space Cruiser. Um, I don't see that anywhere. Usually it's towards the bottom of the ship, the bottom of the hull. But for this particular ship, I'm not seeing that play out with either one of those shields. This one should have gold bits on it. 
like actual patches of the hull that are gold. And the previous one should have silver. But yeah, no. It's, it's not happening with this ship, so. Alright, moving on. We got the Gamma Reputation Shield. Now these are really cool. If you like purple, if purple's your color, look no further than the Gamma Shield. Let's go ahead and put the first one on there. Alright, see it does change the hull. It's, it's still a grayish, but you got more purple throughout the ship. Um, you have these little patterns, the lines throughout. The nacelles themselves have changed to a purple color. Okay. It's... Even the impulse engines here are purple. It's not the the most or the nicest looking shield on here actually, which is I think it just has to do more with the whole patterns on the ship itself, the vanilla, you know, look of it, um, the way it was built, the way it was created, and and I'm sure it was done to the specifications or the the original models look right from from the show so i don't think it's necessarily anything that cryptic itself has done to to change you know to change anything specifically but um because of the original way that the hull looks on this ship i think some of these shields that usually look pretty good on other ships are not looking as great on the temerian deep space cruiser it's okay but it's i don't know it's not that great Let's try the tier 6 version. Maybe it'll redeem itself. Okay. It's a little bit better. It's a darker hull type. Um, darker purple. But again, I'm looking at the hull itself. These kind of patterns that keep showing up. Some things not connecting. If you'll take a look here. See how this line just doesn't quite connect with this line right here. It's kind of offset. Um, that kind of stuff visually just doesn't is not pleasing to my eye <laughs> let's just put it that way i like the the glow of the nacelles here the kind of the purple look but then there's this inexplicable line right through this part of the nacelle and it looks darker when you're looking at it straight on and i don't understand why it does that the impulse engines again purple but it does have like this orangey corner to them for some reason. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's um just haven't been my favorite on here. It's not horrible, but it's not as good as they usually look. Alright. The last reputation we're gonna take a look at here is the um what do they call it? The Discovery Legends Reputation Shields. And this is the newest reputation that we've had in game and probably the last one. Um, every time that people ask Cryptic if they're gonna do any more reputations, they're like, we don't, we neither have the time nor the ability to go into them. So, or to create a new one because it would put the team behind, etc., etc. So let's take a look at the Tilly's Review Pending Modified Shield. The team at Cryptic is rather small looks like so they just don't have an abundance of time to do the things that the players would like them to do here we have the tilly's shield on here you can see there's a little it's it's more subtle it seems like right here for some reason on some ships you can see a little bit more but here you can see that it has this what I like to call a bubble, <laughs> a bubble pattern. It's it's like if you take, you know, if you blow bubbles and then a bubble just kind of lands on the floor, but it's still there and the sun's hitting it. You can see the little different colors of the rainbow kind of going through from the soap that's in it. Um, so that's kind of the look that this shield gives the whole of any ship pretty much. It hasn't changed the nacelle color or the impulse engine color. All they did was add that that kind of bubble pattern to the hole. Okay. So not a huge change on this one. 
Let's go ahead and see the tier 6 version of it. it. Makes a huge difference or not. Okay, so you can see it, that pattern a little bit more with a tier 6 ship, just because it's more kind of this orangey color, I guess. But you can see it more on the hull, but it still hasn't done anything to really change the hull color itself, or the main hull color, and or the nacelles, or the impulse engine color on this ship. But the pattern's a little bit more noticeable as far as the that bubble pattern on it. All right, so kind of unimpressive <laughs> um, to me, anyways. That's it. That's all the reputation uh, shields that you can put on a ship. Now, again, the reputations, as long as you keep leveling them up, you'll be able to start grabbing some of those things. Um, these don't cost. You don't have to open any log boxes for those. For those shields, you just have to use reputation um, points. I have so many marks on here because I am on the triple test server. This is not my live account. So this is where I do all my visual reviews just because it's a lot easier to do it here. And um, But other than that, yeah, you just got to keep up, you know, upgrading your reputations. And then you could purchase some of these things from the reputation themselves using the reputation marks and devices and things like that so it is attainable for free-to-play players you don't have to use any real money you just have to play the game and then you can get those shields now let me show you four more shields that can be grabbed from the game um, for completely for free just from playing some missions so we have the Riemann Prototype Covariant Shield Array. This is from one of the missions in the Romulan, in the Romulan story arc. And it's basically like one of the Riemann shields that we saw earlier from the reputation, except that this one you don't have to level up any reputations to, to see this or to grab this shield. You just have to play a mission and this is a reward for that. So it definitely chromifies the ship. It looks a little bit different than, than the reputation ones, but very similar. I think that there's more of a pattern to some of these areas than there was before, but definitely go back and check out that, that, um, that previous shield if you want to kind of compare. Now I'm seeing this here. I'm not sure that that was there before, but you see this kind of green pattern right here on the side of the nacelle. The inside of the nacelle itself does have a very similar pattern to that reputation shield where you have that blue with these white kind of lines flaring out. Um, it does change the look of the impulse engines, the glow color, but very chrome. <laughs> a very chrome look to it with some green, some light green throughout. and. It's not bad. This is, again, this is a mission drop. So after you complete a mission, this is one of the things that you'll get as a reward. And it is in this, the Romulan story arc. And you'll be able to grab this for free. So definitely play the Romulan story arc and grab this vanity shield. Actually, let me, let me just go real quick and show, see if I can show you where that's at. Romulan mystery, if I look at... Was it cutting Star the cord? Starfleet Intelligence has completed its analysis of the data you recovered. And Actually, it might not show up for me because I already grabbed it. My contacts tell me that Starfleet has rejected my request for oh, military assistance. Oh no, it's this one right here. So we're looking at the Coliseum. So when you play this episode Coliseum, you'll be my able to get this vanity shield. That Starfleet has rejected my request for military the assistance. The prototype covariant shield. So completely free just play that that episode and you'll be able to grab that next we have the Jim Hunter resilient shield array this is from one of the lost missions um, story story arcs um, let me show you real quick where, where you can find that so if you go to your mission journal and you go to available you'll be able to see that there are these other missions that you'll be able to slot um, the first one is going to be called for the for the Lost Dominion story arc is Second Wave, so you'll slot that mission. It is not part of the regular episodes. 
it used to be but it isn't anymore but it's still there under available once you reach i think it's at least level 20 with your captain or something like that you'll be able to to look for these missions so again the first mission that you're looking for here the other ones won't appear right away so only second wave will show up and that's the one you want to slot first and then you'll go through your missions and then the rewards are going to be um, one of the rewards for one of these missions i can't remember which one it is maybe facility 4028 or of Bajor, one of the two will allow you to grab this shield and this is a jemhadar um, resilient is it yeah jemhadar resilient shield array and it does change the look of your ship as you can see it gives it kind of a, a purple look to the hull itself little bits of purple parts on there um, the biggest change comes to the nacelles you see this purple on them with these kind of whitish lines <laughs> throughout i think that's an hmm, interesting look it changes the look of the impulse engines as well interesting looking pattern not my favorite especially on the nacelles themselves but you know if, if you like purple and you just don't have your reputations up and you want your ship to have that purple vibe or that Jim Hadar look then definitely grab this shield from playing um, one of those missions so yeah it does change the look of the ship for sure next we'll look at another one also that you can get from a mission this is again in the lost stories and it's called the dielectric oscillation resilient shield array this is a breen shield otherwise known as a breen shield <laughs> this <laughs> This shield always looks pretty pretty bad on most ships. It is one of the oldest shields and the pattern is not the best looking, but you know, it, it is what it is. It, <laughs> it does change the look of the ship and some people actually like this. So if you're one of these people that like it, hey, more power to you. Enjoy it in good health and uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it'll be great. For you it changes the look of the nacelles on here it changes the look of the impulse engines also what it does to the hull is just kind of interesting it is one of the oldest shields in game and it definitely it, it's definitely a whole vibe yeah so that is the brain shield as we lovingly call it or otherwise known as the dielectric oscillation resilient shield array let me show you how to get there um, we're gonna go to your mission journal again we're gonna go to where it says available not episodes it's not part of the regular episodes go to available and you're looking for a mission called out in the cold that's gonna be the first mission and it's part of that that arc as you can see we have the lost dominion one story arc that was where we got the the dominion vanity shield and then the Cold War arc, Cold War arc, is where you're going to be able to get this uh, dielectric oscillating uh, resilient shield array, and I I think it's in Cold Case or Cold Comfort, one of those you'll be able to get that shield, and um, yeah, so that's where where you'd find that. Now the next shield is in one of the regular um, missions, and it is the Bajoran defense covariant shield array let me show you where to get that mission journal episodes we're gonna go to where it says um new f is it new frontiers yes i believe it's new frontiers so we go to new frontiers and we're gonna go down to where it says uh scylla and charybdis so this episode scylla and charybdis if you go and you play this Starfleet intelligence believes us in you'll be able to see that Alliance that's part of the rewards right here soon. the bajoran defense covariant shield array it's a long mission and there is a full space set on here or at least um, kind of def you'll get a deflector an impulse engine and a shield so you can grab um, one of each of those and they do have some um, you know if you get the defense set you'll get some reward um, not rewards but you'll get some advantages to kind of the output of your weapons and things like that so basically this is just from that mission play it so again it's a little bit long but you'll be able to grab this shield as one of your rewards from there let's put it on the ship and let's see what it looks like 
All right, so it definitely changes things. Um, usually, this shield looks pretty good on most ships. It does, you know, change the whole giving it these big grooves on, on them right here. Uh, <laughs> On this particular ship, it doesn't look as good as on some other ships. Personal opinion, you have these little kind of yellow portions of the hull. Doesn't look all that great. The nacelle's okay. Has a kind of the bluish, whitish look to it. The impulse engines are burnt orange color. You got these, uh, I guess brownish, kind of a brownish color to them to parts of the hole right here and right there. It's definitely meant to look like an older ship because a lot of the technology that the Bajorans had in Deep Space Nine was old technology <laughs> and older ships. They were not super technically advanced for their ships. Let me just put it that way. And um, they were advanced in other ways, but ship wise, they didn't have the strongest ships for sure. And it changes, it, again, it does change the look of the ship, but it's not my favorite look on this one. But you might like it, and if you do, that's great. It's just a mission reward. All right, next we're gonna have some kind of special shields. These are vanity shields that were either given out in the game, or you can grab by donating to a charity. I believe this 32nd Century Federation Vanity Shield I grabbed from, from donating to one of the charities that Cryptic was um, was trying to donate to. I can't even remember which one. But let's put that on this ship real quick and let's see what it looks like. Again, this is a 32nd Century Federation Vanity Shield Array. If you have it, great. If you don't, there is no way to get it currently. They don't have a way that you get this, this shield again. So maybe in the future they'll bring it back with another charity event or something like that, but currently there's no way to kind of put your hands on this one. It does change the look of the ship, kind of a lighter hull. It does change the pattern a little bit of the hull right here. Um, this kind of middle section has a whiter, kind of a whitish blue pattern to it. Changes the look of the nacelles, more pinkish. Or salmon? Should we call it salmon? Maybe salmon color. <laughs> Impulse engines in the back are this kind of same bluish color to them. It's not bad. You know, if you like the the pinkish salmon color on it on your nacelles, then this this might be the the vanity shield for you if you have it in your inventory. I do like the hull patterns right here um, I think it looks good I think it looks a little bit more detailed and more realistic than some of the other ones and take realistic for what you will this is all science fiction um, based on a science fiction show and all that good stuff but <laughs> it just looks good I think it looks better so all right that is 32nd century Federation vanity shield let's go ahead and do this one was given away, the Alliance Vanity Shield, when they started bringing some of those Alliance um, ships into the game. Now it is not free um, anymore, but you can acquire it through MUD's Market. So if you go into MUD's Market, you'll see that this is actually a reward, uh, not a reward. This is something that you could purchase along with the Alliance uniform for your characters. It's one of my favorite shields in the game. And... It definitely makes this ship look pretty interesting. I like it. I I like these kind of red lines that go throughout. We're looking at the hull itself. It does change the pattern of the hull a bit. Um, the grooves are more like diamond shaped. Throughout. You have little bits of blue here and there. I like the blue that the nacelles look like. Or the, the blue that is added to the nacelles as part of the shield. This middle section, you have gold bits here and there. Let's take a look at the impulse engines. All right, so the impulse engines, this is not like the original. It's a little bit different. Still that burnt kind of reddish orange color, but the pattern is just slightly different. I think the, the lines accent the right areas of this ship. 
um, and they don't really look that broken you know it looks like things tie together in one way or another so let's take a look at the bottom one of the things I like about this this particular um, vanity shield is the fact that parts of the hole I don't know if, if you can see it but it's got this kind of diamond shapes right throughout when the light hits it just the right way it looks like stained glass because it just brings in a lot of different colors and it's really neat um, you can't see it very clearly right now I guess maybe this top part a little bit but I don't know I think that's very very cool it's definitely one of the better looking shields on this ship in my personal opinion so that's the Alliance Vanity Shield. Again, you can grab this from Mud's Market um, along with the Alliance uniform if you don't have that on your account. However, if you got it for free when it first came out, then more power to you. That's great. <laughs> Next, we're going to go into the event shields. So we have two events in Star Trek Online every year. Well, two main events, really. Um, one of them is a winter and one of them is a summer event. You also have the anniversary event. It's it's a big thing, but um, they usually don't give you necessarily a vanity shield for that. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, you have the winter. The oldest ones are the winter and the summer events, and with those you get access to some vanity shields. Now, right now we're at the winter event. It's still live right now, and one of the the only vanity shield actually that you get from the winter event store is this Fakiri vanity shield now the Fakiri are basically the Klingons um, version of I guess demons and things like that um, they're the underworld creatures for the for the Klingons and um, so they have a definite a very distinct look to them um, they're meant to look like they came straight from hell so <laughs> let's put this shield on let's see what it does to our ship Oh, actually, I really like that. So, definitely makes the hole look like it's it's got some carbon scoring all throughout, uh, like it's just kind of worn and weathered. You can see that throughout the hole itself. Um, some portions of it have this kind of reddish uh, look to them. It changed the color of the nacelles to this kind of uh, I don't know, guys. I keep saying color color names, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a color expert by any means, so correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below if I'm saying the color's wrong, but it's kind of a, I feel like it's a grayish blue pattern or color to them. The nacelles are a little bit more hot, um, hot orange color on them. Let's look at the bottom. Yeah, see, it looks like worn out hull with carbon scoring throughout, like it just went through fire or it's been in fire for a while, or it's rusted. I actually like it though. I think it, it it's one of the better looking shields on this particular ship. And maybe because it's it, it looks kind of like an older ship anyways, just because of the design of it, um, because of its original hull um, look to it, but I think it looks really good. I was, I'm actually surprised. It looks pretty neat. So again, that's the Fakiri. Vanity Shield, this is from the Winter Event. If you are still playing the Winter Event and you are grabbing all those little goodies like the earmuffs and the candles and all those things that you could use to purchase things in the Winter Event store, then um, definitely consider getting the Fakir Vanity Shield. It might be, it might be something you like. All right, next we have the Summer Event Shields. I'm gonna go through these really quickly because there's a lot of them and we still got some more Vanity Shields to go through. So, um, they all look, um, a little bit different the colors are different and things like that but again these are from the summer event and there's quite a few more of them there's one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine it looks like nine total vanity shields for the summer event I wish it would put at least one or two more for the winter event store we only have again the Fakir one at least it's a pretty decent one but it'd be nice to have more than one of them let's take a look at the baseball shields so we have the work bees we're gonna go with that one first so these are based off of fictitious uh, baseball teams in Star Trek. So the work bees. Oh, I like it actually. It's got a 
kind of a goldish brownish color to it a little bit of an orange brown on some parts of the section i like what it does to the nacelles actually i like this pattern i like the color <laughs> wow actually you know batting on 100 right now with the with the vanity shields from the baseball teams i like what it does to the impulse engines wow i actually really like this this shield on this ship it looks like it really belongs i was i really was not expecting that and it's the very first one that we put on here man it looks really good y'all i really like this very very cool that's very very cool this is the uh what is it it's the work bees baseball vanity shield this one works really good on this ship so when the summer event comes around if you don't already have this vanity shield consider getting this one i mean in my opinion at least it looks really good let's take a look at another one this is the vulcan logicians um, vanity shield okay it looks all right i mean Definitely a grayish purple in some areas here. Um, I like some of the blue in between. Even on the nacelles, it looks okay. The impulse engines I don't like too much. Maybe it's not so much the purple. I think it's this red outline throughout that's kind of bugging me. Huh. It's actually really decent. I... Huh. <laughs> I mean, I don't like it as much as the previous shield, but... But this is still pretty decent. It's really nice. And again, this is... Um, this is a shield that you get from the summer event. So, just play the summer event and you can grab one of these vanity shields. I actually like it. I dig it. It is not bad at all. So far, again, these uh, summer event shields have been looking pretty good. Let's see what the stem bolt ones look like. Okay, so we have kind of a more pinkish, a reddish color to, to the hull itself. The nacelles are kind of this whitish color to them. The impulse engines. Again, it's bugging me that it has this red outline on them, but I guess it is what it is. It's not bad. Like, honestly, if you like pink, if pink is your color, grab this one. This ship, lets us, so far, has lent itself really well to these, to looking good with these uh, baseball vanity shields. So, that's the stem bolts. Let's take a look at the Cation Claws. It looks good I'm telling you these are doing really well <laughs> I'm so surprised usually I just blast through them because it did, they don't look necessarily that great on all ships there's one or two that usually look pretty decent on most ships but um, man on this ship the baseball vanity shields are looking pretty good purple you got orange Maybe it's because they're just more simple, the shields, I don't know. I don't know why, but they've been looking really good. Again, you got that line on there, but it doesn't look that bad with this particular hull because it's purple, so it kind of blends in just a little bit more. Wow. I mean, I would definitely use this shield on this ship. Happily, like if I, if I was trying to make him more of a Jem'Hadar. I would actually not even use the Jem'Hadar ones. I would use this particular shield on this ship. <laughs> I know it's crazy, but that's what I would do. It just looks so much better. Wow. Very cool. This is the uh, Cation Claws. Let's take a look at this Denebian Slime Devils one. This is one that a lot of people hate. Let's see how it looks. 
Yeah, okay. I mean, horrible, it does not look necessarily, but uh, the... <laughs> I guess it's the color combination, the purple with this kind of loud green. Um, definitely slime green color. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look at the impulse engines. Those are green. It's, I mean, honestly, like if I'm just taking a step back and I put away the fact that maybe I don't like the color combination, it's, it's not bad looking. It really isn't. It looks better than some of the other shields that we've put on this ship to date. So, yeah. Might actually find a good use other than to annoy, you know, other people that you play with. Because some people really despise this shield. I mean, I'm fine with it, whatever. But some people really despise it. And I know that there are players out there who put them on their ships just to just to annoy others. <laughs> but, um, but on this ship, it doesn't look that bad. Again, I've seen some people have their characters look like the Joker in the game. This would definitely be, you know... If you have a character that looks like the Joker and you have this ship, definitely put the Deneb Denebian Slime Devil's Vanity Shield on it. It looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Franginar Liquidators. Alright, so green is your color. with with Mixed with yellow, this is definitely the, the shield for you. Not my favorite look, but... Yeah, it's not bad. The color combination, I think, works okay on this ship. Doesn't really... The colors basically change just... I mean, these shields basically just change the color of the ships. I don't think it's changing necessarily a ton of the shape of it. Um, of the hull itself, like the patterns on it and stuff like that. But it looks okay. That's the um, Frangi Liquidator's... Yeah, maybe just a little bit, but not like a ton. All right, let's look at the Deep Space Niners. Okay, so this is um, kind of a more orangey color to it all. Some blue bits here and there. Hmm. I don't know if I like this or not, actually. I do like the look of the nacelles a bit, actually, with that color. I don't know. Like, I can't tell if I like it or not. I mean, it's definitely not horrible or anything like that. It's okay. I just... Maybe what's throwing me off a little bit is the fact that this... Parts of this middle section have this really orangey color, and then parts don't. Um, and maybe I wish that this darker section would would have a place in the in the front of the ship somewhere. Maybe even just the tip or this middle part right here. But I don't know. Personal preference thing. It's, I mean, it doesn't look bad though. This is the D Space Snyder's Vanity Shield. I said I was gonna blaze through this but I you know it's I'm finding these shields more interesting on the ship than I thought I would Bozeman Titans is a favorite of a lot of people look at this look so it changes makes the hole a little bit darker with yellow throughout and the combination looks really really good I really like it I like the look of the nacelles I like the darker hole um, look to to the ship Let's take a look at the impulse engines. Okay, same kind of orangey color on them. I dig it. I think it looks really good on the ship. I would yet definitely use this shield on it. It's kind of like, you know what it looks like to me right now because the yellow is so prominent um, on the on the edges and things like that. It looks a little bit like the Lucari shield. Except a little bit reverse, right? Because the Lucari gives you that that really um, bluish white on the edges and things like that. You know, kind of that Tron effect. 
this looks a little bit tronish to me too just with different colors like it's it's yellow instead of that that kind of light blue um throughout and uh so yeah i think it's it's very similar in some ways especially on this particular ship so really like it the bozeman titans vanity shield let's take a look at the andorian blue boars vanity shield Oh, I like that. It just make to me this shield always makes a ship look more beachy. Uh, it's kind of like the colors that you would see on a uh, surfboard or something like that, right? But I think it just looks good. I, I like the bluish color, and I like I like how it pairs well with this kind of I guess orangey, light orange color. It looks good. I like it a lot be like if this is like if you're a dude who loves vacation but you still own a starship um if you're a surfer surfer dude captain you know, <laughs> or something like that this would definitely be the vanity shield for you and your ship it looks really good on the Temerian deep space cruiser in my opinion i really like it i dig it this is the newest i believe of the vanity shields for the summer event very cool enjoy it quite a bit all right that is it for the summer event shields let's take a look at the um the rest of the shield so the rest of the vanity shields that i have these are ones that are found in lock boxes so these are the ones that you can open i believe it's like they paired them with the weapons um the weapons boxes and things like that for the different lock boxes so you can get certain types of weapons um, whether they be phaser or disruptor or plasma variants and things like that um, by opening those boxes with those weapons um, in them there was a chance <laughs> to grab some of these vanity shields from there now most of these I have purchased directly from the um, from the exchange some of these have have been and do show up from time to time on the exchange to purchase usually they're pretty expensive because they're just it's just kind of rare to get these um, the chances of getting them are pretty poor um, overall so if you have the easy to spend and you really like some of these definitely check check the exchange and um, see if it they have them for sale on there and you'll be able to grab those for some some again some energy credits some EC so let's take a look at the Discovery Vanity Shield. That's just, this is apart from the Discovery Reputation. So it's just um, the lockbox kind. I like it. I like the way it changes the look of the hull. It makes it a little bit more smooth, a little bit of a darker gray. I like what it does to the nacelles. I like the pattern. I like the white look to it. Let's take a look at the nacelles here interesting i mean on the impulse engines interesting look you got the circle pattern to them huh i i don't mind it though i think it looks okay so interesting look to to the to the impulse engines let's take a look at the bottom of the ship i wonder if that pattern is different i don't think i saw that pattern before some parts do look a little bit broken, like here you can see kind of a weird... It looks like almost like just cloned and copied, right? Onto the hull. Some of these things that were supposed to be circles but now aren't. You only get parts of it. So if you look at it really closely, you'll be able to see some imperfections definitely. Um, with using the shield on the ship. but. If you zoom out just a little bit, you won't really notice too much of it. And to me, it looks pretty decent on this ship. So this is the Discovery Vanity Shield, again, from um, one of the lock boxes. Let's take a look at the Discovery Refit Vanity Shield. This is for, like the 32nd century version of the shield from like when Discovery goes into the future and all that stuff. Uh, let's see. Okay, so it's a darker hole a little bit. Um, let's just take a look at the pattern of the hole itself. It does change it a little bit, not 
Not as much as I thought it would. The nacelles are this white color. I like that. Let's take a look at the impulse engines. Again, kind of this whitish color on the impulse engines. Let's take a look at the bottom of it. All right. Okay, you see this pattern at the bottom? On some ships you get more of that. On this ship, it's a little bit less. So that, that was throwing me off at first. Um, the hull definitely has a different, more futuristic, supposedly, you know, look to it. I'm not seeing that pattern too, I guess, highlight it too much on this particular hull of this ship. It's still there in some ways, just not as much as I'm used to seeing. So this is the, what is it called? The Discovery Refit Vanity Shield. Let's take a look at the... Emerald Chain Intel Juggernaut Vanity Shield. Again, from the same kind of time period. Okay, so this one, you can see the patterns a little bit more of the whole, a little bit, probably dirtier looking or whatever. I don't know if dirtier looking is the right way to say it, but it looks maybe more militant actually is, is what I want to say. Not necessarily dirtier, but more militant. Um, look to the whole pattern on there. Actually, it reminded me a little bit of the oscillating shield, which is the what we call the Breen shield. Just kind of an updated version look of that. Um, at least on this particular ship. However, on any other ship, it really doesn't have that feel. But on this ship, it kind of does to me. Uh, the nacelles, again, are this whitish color, but they're a little bit more muted. A little bit more muted white than the Discovery Refit shield. I actually like it. It looks good. It looks like a... Definitely, this is like a military ship, right? Um, with this kind of hull pattern on it. Looks a little bit more menacing, perhaps. Let's see. Yeah, kind of a interesting whitish looking impulse engines on there. You know what it looks like, actually? Now that I, that I zoomed in a little bit closer, it kind of looks like... Um, the Battlestar Galactica, like that kind of a hole, right? Like, I don't know if you guys have seen, I know it's a different franchise, but if you've seen the show Battlestar Galactica, um, those ships have this kind of a hole pattern to it. They're, they're, it's a darker hole, and um, yeah, man, that's what it definitely looks like to me. So, kind of a more of a Battlestar Galactica look to the hole. Pretty neat. Again, that's the Intel... Uh, Emerald Chain Intel Juggernaut Vanity Shield. Let's take a look at the Kelvin Divergence Shield. And let's take a look at that real quick. All right, so this is the Kelvin Shield. I don't like, <laughs> I like what it does to the whole of this ship. I don't like what it does to the, to the nacelles. Um, this kind of circular-ish, weird pattern. Man, just ruins it. If it wasn't for that, I, I feel like it would be a lot higher up on... Well, look at look at the impulse engines, too. The circular look to them just doesn't look good on this. We, we, know, we saw another circular pattern in one of the earlier shields that looked okay, but this doesn't look... It just doesn't look good. Yeah, I wouldn't go out of your way to get in this shield for any ship, actually, because it, it does that to a lot of the ships that you put this vanity shield on. This is the Kelvin Timeline vanity shield. Let's take a look at the Ferengi vanity shield. Makes everything pretty much just orange. Orange nacelles, orange hull type. A little bit of black here in between, but basically orange upon orange upon orange. So have you seen a decor? Ferengi decor type ship, um, those showed up in the next generation. You'll notice that it had this this kind of whole color on it. So basically this is what it does. The Ferengi took out their ship and um, they're gonna make some profit with it. <laughs> and they decided to paint the hull to make it look like the rest of their ships. That's the Ferengi vanity shield. Let's take a look at the Borg. I believe the next one's the Borg. Yeah, Borg, Borg Vanity Shield. Now this is separate from the the um, the Omega reputations um, with the Borg looks on that. This is more of a 
a cooperative, I believe. It's trying to imitate some of the, the look of the cooperative ships. And those are liberated Borg, by the way. So it does change the pattern of the hull. You get this little hull patches throughout. Um, you get this kind of whitish look. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but this area right here a little bit more of a like a white light throughout some of these parts. I kind of like that. Um, the nacelles are okay. You can see that it, it, it makes the hull of a, of a Borg ship on it with just the slight um, glow of blue on it. I will say this vanity shield doesn't look good on every ship, but I feel it looks okay on this ship. So if you want to play the part of, a, say, a liberated Borg, right, and who just, or a Borg, liberated Borg crew who took over, you know, a ship, then this is definitely the vanity shield for you. I actually think it looks really good on this ship. Again, this, this vanity shield doesn't look good on every ship, but I think it looks really good on the Temerian D Space Cruiser. That's the Borg vanity shield. Let's take a look at the... Herc Vanity Shield. Now the Herc are these insectoid species that uh, you get to, you know, go up against in the Gamma Quadrant story arc. And the hull is supposed to have a kind of a more organic uh, look to them. This is meant to look more like the skin of the Herc themselves. And so it has this kind of patch, like it looks like little patches on it, but also I don't know, it's a little bit more organic looking. And even in some of these um, areas here where you got more of a lattice pattern to them. Now the nacelles are this kind of greenish. I think it looks good. The impulse engines also greenish looks good. Let's take a look at the bottom here real quick. Yeah, I like that pattern. It looks like little patches, right? But like organic skin almost like something you'd get from like the wings of an insect or something like that very neat actually looks pretty good on this on this ship I, I would definitely use this shield on this ship i think it looks really good so that's the herc vanity shield let's take a look at the zankethi one now the zankethi are also um a little bit different a little more alien if you will um so their their hole is meant to mimic maybe a carapace um, from a from a beetle or something like that maybe, and uh, so it definitely has kind of that kind of pattern going throughout it. It's got this I don't even know what what color this would be. It's like a deep green foresty color. I don't know uh, deep green blue. I don't know what to call it. You guys let me know in the comments below something like that. <laughs> And it has these um, kind of light orange throughout on the nacelles, glowy bits throughout. I kind of like it actually, looks okay on the ship. More white uh, look to the impulse engines back here. I think it looks, I think it looks really good actually. I. I don't know, like, this, this, the Zenkethi Vanity Shield doesn't look great on a lot of ships. Um, but on this ship, I think it looks okay. I think it looks pretty good, actually. And again, if you zoom out just a little bit more, like, you don't necessarily notice all the imperfections. I'm zooming in close right now just because, you know, I, I really want to show off what it looks like up close and personal, but most people are going to be flying their ships probably at this level right here so when you look at the when you look at the vanity shield from this angle or from this um zoom area right you're gonna be able to see that it it, it actually looks better in my opinion it looks pretty good all right let's move on to another vanity shield we only got a few more left to go zap vash this is from zap vash or romulans a romulan sector something like that from star trek picard the show so here you get something very similar to the Romulan uh, shield that we saw in the Romulan Reputation. 
um, where it just makes the hole kind of greenish, but it, it does more than just a little patch here and there because it actually changes all the hole to a more greenish color. Even this area that's usually a light gray, now it's kind of a greenish gray color, and then you have the darker sections of green throughout the ship. It changes the nacelles to this reddish, or actually it's, it's more of a salmon color again, um, color to them with a... I, I don't think I like the pattern necessarily on here, I, just because the nacelles look a little bit out of place to me compared to the rest of the ship, to be honest, and I just, I don't feel like it goes well together. If it was the green of this, of the impulse engines right here, I think it would look a lot better. If this greenish color was in the cells, perfect. I would say this is a really good looking, really good looking ship. I do... A really good looking shield rather I do like the um, the green color on here and I like the whole patterns on it too the little Aztec that it's got throughout it looks good again if it wasn't for those uh, for the color on the nacelles I would like that shield a lot more but it is what it is all right moving on all right, so we have three of some of the most popular vanity shields out there that come from log boxes. We're gonna start off with the Baul vanity shield. These are all pretty dark hull colors. All right, this is the bow one. It looks really good, actually. So it really darkens that hull, gives you that deep kind of black color on it. Um, the nacelles go to this whitish, but not like blind your eye white. It's a muted white color. There is a specific pattern. If you can see right there where the light's hitting it, you got these little lines kind of throughout. You'll see it in other parts of the hull. Oh yeah, you can see it at the bottom too. Right here where the light's hitting it, you can see these little lines. I like it, I really like it on this ship. Really like it on this ship. This is the Ba'ul. Again, the Bowel Vanity Shield, it is a lockbox uh, shield, unfortunately. Actually, you know what? Not just lockbox. Some of these shields you can now get through the through the Dilithium store. Now, every once in a while, every year, they'll put these up on the Dilithium store so you can buy them. And um, you can use your Dilithium to, to purchase these. Let's go. Let me see if that actually shows up here in the uh, in Triple. It does. Okay. So right here, if you go to the Dilithium store, you'll see that at the bottom, you have this thing that says, it's like a number three, and then it has vanity shields on it. If you click on that, you'll be able to see that some of these lockbox vanity shields show up. So you got the Zotbosch, the Baul, the Borg, the Kelvin one, don't spend your <laughs> Dilithium on that. Section 31, Emperor's Vanity Shield, Herc, Ferengi Discovery, and the Zenkethi one. So again, this is the Baul shield. It's on there. You could purchase this with, I think it's, it's, it is like 280 dilithium. They might have a sale on it sometimes for a little bit less dilithium, but you know, they're not super cheap dilithium wise. But the nice thing about getting them here through the dilithium store is that if you purchase them through the dilithium store when they're on sale, um, when they're up for sale, rather, it is unlocked for your entire account. So you can take that vanity shield and you can put it on any character in your account and you could switch between them. So that's really nice. When you get them through the lockbox or when you get them through the exchange, they are bound to your character, which means you can't trade them with any other character on your account. They're just for that one character. So just FYI on that. So there are other ways to get some of these vanity shields. And one of those ways is whenever they put them up on the Dilithium store, if you have the Dilithium, definitely pick, pick them up from there. And again, those are account unlocked versus just getting them from the... From the um, exchange or from the actual um, lock boxes all right so it looks really good that was the uh, again sorry a little side there but that was the bowel vanity shield let's take a look at the section 31 shield this is a lot of people's favorite all right so it's less less black on the whole more like a really dark charcoal uh, gray color it looks really cool though um, very smooth um, look to the hull. On this one, 
you don't have the glowing nacelles because it's supposed to be a section 31 ship you don't want to see them coming it's like stealth right so <laughs> now sometimes it will you know you'll see the color on the nacelles be like a, a kind of a bluish color but in this case it tries to take the the color of the nacelles out and just kind of covers it up so that you know you don't see them coming now here you have red on the impulse engines which is really nice I like that that deep red color on it and it just again not a lot of glowing bits on it it makes it look like a stealth ship I mean if you look at the uh, something like the SR 70 SR 71 right that had the uh, the dark hull or the U-2 spy plane, Dark Hole, you know, to, then you have the F-117, is it? The stealth fighter, and then the B-2 stealth bombers and stuff like that that we have in real life, you know, those stealth sh planes are all kind of have this dark hole pattern, or dark hole to them. Um, same kind of, same kind of concept, I think, they were going for with that. So we got my favorite shield in the game, my favorite vanity shield in the game, which is the Emperor's Vanity Shield. Let's take a look at that. All right, so it definitely is a darker gray. It gives this aztec pattern to the hole itself. You have this kind of orange glow to the nacelles themselves. You got little bits, I don't know if you can see them, but little bits of blue here and there speckled throughout the ship. I kind of like that. Um, even the nacelles here now are Kind of an orange yellow color actually more of a yellow color i guess on there really let's take a look at the bottom you can see that aztecing really really well on the hole itself i like it this is definitely has been my favorite vanity shield of all time um i like how some of the hole looks a little bit brownish in certain sections this is definitely a um, descendant, if you will, of the uh, <laughs> of the Terran Task Force Reputation Shield, um, and I find it just, yeah, I really love that shield. I like how it looks on basically any ship I put it on, and, and this one is no exception. All right, so let's take a look at the Courier Vanity Shield. All right, so this makes the hole look really white, um, really bright white nacelle uh, <laughs> colors on there, but you have these little black portions of the hole as well. I actually think it looks pretty neat. The impulse engines, kind of a white color also. So if you like the white and the black contrast on the hull, you can see, you know, Aztecing on the hull as well. This is a shield for you. I mean, it's really neat. I like it. I like the way it looks. If, if white's your color on a hull, that's definitely one you want to get. All right, two more to go. Here we go. Let's take a look at the a Safe Galaxy Vanity Shield. This is from, again, based off of um, some ships from Star Trek Picard, I believe the second season, if I'm not mistaken. The Confederation ships, I believe, is what they were called. Now, this is definitely the more, the one that looks more camel, right? So it's definitely not camel, not like the animal, but camo, like camouflage. And uh, <laughs> just to be clear, sometimes when I speak, um, I need to enunciate a little bit better. So didn't want there to be any uh, any misunderstanding there. <laughs> so definitely more of a camouflage pattern on here, and uh, definitely makes the ship look more militant, right? Very military. I like what it does to the nacelles. I like the color on there. It's kind of a subtle, you know, opaque yellow or something like that um, with this pattern in the nacelles themselves. It looks okay. And here we are taking a look at the impulse engines. That's an interesting look to them. Let's take a look at the bottom. Yeah, so this is definitely one of those things that you look at it and you're like, that is a military ship, no doubt in our minds about it, right? You could play as, oh, this is just like a troop transport, or this is just part of the militia of some kind of a spacefaring race. So it looks good on this ship. It looks good on most ships, actually. So 
Definitely one you might want to pick up at some point if you can. This is the a safe galaxy refit vanity shield. One more. This is the newest vanity shield in the game, the Prodigy vanity shield uh, from Star Trek Prodigy. Let's see what it makes the ship look like. All right, so it smoothens out the hull a little bit and gives it a little bit darker of a gray color. The nacelles are this bluish white look to them. I don't, the pattern's okay. It's not my favorite, but it, it's okay. It does kind of the same thing to the impulse engines, kind of this whitish and this blue. Let's look at the bottom here. It looks good. I mean, it's nice. I like what it does to the hull. I like the look of it. it. Makes it look a little bit more of a smooth as it can be for this particular ship. Um, a little bit of a smoother hull, perhaps. I think if, if the nacelles themselves weren't in this the whitish portion of it was more distributed and wasn't just kind of in the middle I would like it probably a little bit better but you know it's okay it's not bad this is the the newest vanity shield in the game and it is the prodigy vanity shield and that's it that's the last one we have for y'all Ooh, we just went through a lot of shields for this ship the Temerian D space cruiser I hope that y'all enjoyed this video if you did please please consider leaving a like um, down below and um, comment if you like tell me which which is the best vanity shield which do you think is the best vanity shield on this ship um, again this is a free ship for the winter event hopefully you're on your way to getting this or really close to getting it here in a couple of days and you'll be able to play around with it and again, if you want to change the look, you have options. You have reputation system, you have missions, and you have the exchange, you have the dilithium store. Um, you could open up lock boxes, although I don't recommend that. But um, you could do any of those things and grab some vanity shields for this ship um, and change the look of it. I hope that, again, this has been fun for you to kind of check out the different looks of it. I will leave chapters down below. Until next time, live long and prosper. Take care and thanks again for watching.